what's going on guys today i'm here to share with you guys some field tips for career advancement as an aircraft maintenance engineer one thing about becoming an aircraft maintenance engineer is that it creates a lot of other opportunities and growth and also it does not only put you in a box of just becoming an aircraft maintenance engineer you can actually leverage that into other careers and i'm here to share with you guys number one becoming an aeronautical engineer aeronautical engineers are more focused on development and designing of aircraft but as an aircraft maintenance engineer you can actually leverage your experience to become an aeronautical engineer although you cannot transfer the education experience because you have to start over again as an aeronautical engineer boy with the experience you got from as an aircraft maintenance engineer we actually get you a job way faster once you graduate as an aeronautical engineer and also in school you guys will notice too like most of the courses as an aeronautical engineer is um has a lot of similarity when you, with the ones you take in school as an aircraft maintenance engineer and that will actually help you out because personally i had a friend that went through this route so he graduated as an aircraft maintenance engineer he got his license and he wanted to like you know advance in his career so he went to school for aeronautical engineer and he was telling me like there's a lot of similarity because at the end of the day we are both learning about aircraft so you can actually leverage your experience as an aircraft maintenance engineer to becoming a better aeronautical engineer number two becoming a transport canada inspector Transport Canada inspector is mostly a government job and their duties is to like, you know, give licenses to aircraft maintenance engineers, give licenses to pilots, making sure everyone is following the regulation. And for you guys to know, most Transport Canada inspectors were actually aircraft maintenance engineer. But for you to become a Transport Canada inspector, you have to have your aircraft maintenance engineer license and also you need at least five to ten years experience so for you guys that are trying to get into the government side you know the government employment side becoming a transport canada inspector is a really good fit and i'm talking about the pay the benefit the pension you know how it is working with the government right the pension is way better you know the paid i'm talking about they make at least six figures Transport Canada inspectors make at least 100 to 120k per year and also It's not as stressful as working on the floor. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is work in the computer You know, you're not waking up early. It's a salary job. It's not a nine to five And now they actually have this opportunity of working from home It's because I do have a friend that is a Transport Canada inspector and he was telling me how they can actually work from home like they only go to work like two three times in a week it's a lot of better flexibility compared to like an aircraft maintenance engineer so for you guys that are trying to get into the government side of employment becoming a transport canada inspector is a really good choice number three becoming an moc inspector MOC is a maintenance operation control and MOC inspector is like a aircraft maintenance engineer with no tools. So basically you're mostly dealing with your experience and also using your brain to rectify our snags. So their duty is mostly to like make sure there's no delay, make sure whatever defect that comes with an aircraft is being either deferred or fixed. So for example, right, I'll give you guys. So if an aircraft comes in for an arrival with a defect and the uh, aircraft maintenance engineers cannot fix the snag you know they're trying to fix it but they don't know they don't know what the problem is the first thing they always do is to call an moc inspector and call an moc inspector for like an advice because moc inspectors are actually aircraft maintenance engineers but they have more way more experience and also they are mostly specialized in different type of aircraft so you have an moc inspector for only 787s you have an moc inspectors for only 737s you have an moc inspectors for only a330 just like you having a type course for an aircraft but those guys are way more experienced way way more experienced i'm talking about 10 years 20 years experience as an aircraft maintenance engineer so an aircraft maintenance engineer will call an MOC inspector 
and ask them for like an advice or doesn't know what the snag is or how to fix them and the moc inspector will actually give the aircraft maintenance engineer you know how to fix the snag or if there is no way to fix their snag the moc inspector will actually tell the aircraft maintenance engineer that you know they can defer the snag for the next inspection you know what i'm saying so for you guys that are wondering you know how to like grow as an aircraft maintenance engineer becoming an moc inspector it's a really good choice but for you to become an moc inspector you have to either work for an airline or work for a company that works in an airport because most airlines and private jet uh, companies they do have moc inspector they mostly because most moc inspectors are mostly making sure there is no delay making sure snags are being rectified as fast as possible for moc inspector for you guys that are wondering how to grow coming an moc inspector can be a good choice and also a good career path and development as an aircraft maintenance engineer number four becoming self-employed becoming an aircraft maintenance engineer will actually create the opportunity of becoming self-employed and this is one of my favorite benefits of becoming an aircraft maintenance engineer because you can actually start your own company for you guys that are trying to start your own company it's going to give you that leverage but me personally i always advise people before you jump into the seven plymouth route you want to make sure you have at least your license of course then secondly you want to have at least five to ten years experience because you don't want to be a contractor that does not know what you're doing most company that will hire you as a contractor or a self-employed person they have high expectation of you they expect you to know what you're doing they expect you to work way faster way more efficient compared to other people so you don't want to be in a situation whereby you don't know what you're doing and i'm talking about aviation it's a really small industry whereby you know companies know each other so if you have a good reputation with this company as a self-employed person guess what you're gonna get a new contract with another company because they probably have reference from that other company and once you have good reputation in the industry man you're gonna be having a lot of contract jobs and i'm talking about there's a lot of contract up op self-employed opportunities right now for aircraft maintenance engineer in canada they're looking for people to actually become you know to work as a contractor but personally i always advise you to have at least two to three type courses because the more type courses you have the more maintenance release you have the more leverage and the more money you can make and also have at least five years to ten years experience so you actually know what you're doing so for you guys that are trying to get into self-employment route becoming an aircraft maintenance engineer will actually give you that opportunity number five becoming an airworthiness inspector airworthiness inspector is like a middleman between i would say transport canada which is the government and a company so basically their duty is to make sure every maintenance done on the floor it's in accordance with the canadian regulation making sure everyone is following the safety policy making sure everyone is following the mcm which is the maintenance control manual the npm and making sure everyone has an updated license and also the airworthiness inspector is the one that will actually give you your os which is the occupational standard and also is the person that will give you your aca which is your aircraft certification authority so for you to become an airworthiness inspector you will actually need your aircraft maintenance engineer license and also you have to work with our airline because most airline they are the only one that really have the airworthiness inspector and it's also a good profession you can actually grow into so for you guys that for my company right the airworthiness inspectors were actually aircraft maintenance engineers on the floor and you know with time and more experience they actually got a promotion into airworthiness inspector so for you guys that are wondering how can i you know if you get a job in like a airline or a private company how can i grow within that company airworthiness inspection can actually become a good choice and they actually make good money also and their job is way more flexible it's a salary job it's not stressful you're not dealing with a lot of chemicals although it's a management job 
but me personally it's something i would say you can actually grow into and retire it's most like it's almost the same as a transport canada inspector you guys will notice too like most transport canada inspectors were like aircraft medicines engineers that worked in you know work in the industry for like 20 10 20 to 30 years and they are looking for that retirement package you know what i'm saying so for you guys that are wondering you know how can i grow within my company you know within like an airline company airworthiness inspector can be a good choice so yeah those are my few you know career growth on how to grow as an aircraft medicines engineer you know i try to make this video as informative as possible and i appreciate when you guys ask me more questions like i said i'm working on a vlog video that can actually show you guys what i actually do and hopefully i can get it you know get it out by the end of this month i'm gonna try and push it out as fast as possible appreciate all the love and for you guys that are watching and not subscribing or for you guys that are new to my channel show your boys some love man you gotta eat that subscribe boy you know what i'm saying the more you subscribe and like this video the more my video grows and the more i make more videos and you know help somebody out because i was in your situation too whereby i was looking for information on the internet and i could not find anything and that's why i started this channel so i can help people out that can you know the little i know i can actually share with you guys so show by some love and subscribe you know what i'm saying appreciate sure the love and do not forget to like share and subscribe love you guys <music>